Welcome to this ACDI series, where we will go through setting up PaperCut Hive together. To kick off this series, we'll go through all the steps of initially setting up Hive, discovering printers, onboarding the first user, and submitting the first print job. Let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to want to look for is an invitation from PaperCut to log into Hive for the very first time. So the email is going to look like this, and it's going to be sent to the administrator of this particular Hive instance. Now, because we're using a Google account, we're just going to go ahead and continue with that Google account, and we will sign in with that administrator's Google account. Here we will accept the conditions and continue, and wait for that to load up. Once we're in here, we're going to get some prompts on how to begin and how to get set up. Uh, we can go through these and follow all the instructions. Uh, we're we're going to want to go ahead as the administrator also download the Hive app for the first time. That's how we are going to be discovering the print queues. So we're definitely going to want to be on location in the Hive environment where it's going to be running and install this particular client to get started. So once we start running that, we will want to accept the agreement next and then set up everything as recommended and we will want to go ahead and hit install. We will then go back into PaperCut Hive and we see that already uh, Hive is looking for printers on the network. As you can see in standard, it's going to start looking on whatever subnet that computer is on, uh, but we can input our own subnet. So for example, if you have a subnet of 172.16.13.0, that's where all of your printers live. You can do the slash 24 and then it will start looking in that subnet and update that particular setting. Now, once we have discovered our initial printers, we can go ahead and hit next. And now we will see that the next step is inviting ourselves or another administrator as our first printing user for Hive. So, we see that we have sent ourselves an invite. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit open to go to the next step. And you'll see here that on top, it will give you more guidance. You could definitely go through the guided tour and hit the next button to continue. But if you're following along, let's go ahead and hit skip tour. Now we'll want to go ahead and check our email and see that invitation to become a user inside of Hive. So we'll click on get started. And then again, we will continue with our Google account. Now, as an administrator, it's gonna log us back in, but no big deal. Uh, what we will be able to do is hit that drop down button on the top right hand side and click on open user portal. So this is gonna be the experience that our end users are gonna see. They could see their own access code and they will be able to set themselves up. So since we downloaded this the first time as just the administrator, we're going to want to download the Hive client again because this is going to set us up as a user. So we'll go ahead, click on this new download and run that executable. We'll want to accept the terms of agreement and go through the installer. Once that's done running, we'll want to go ahead and go back to our user portal and we'll want to follow the instructions of setting up the mobile phone. So this is the easiest way to get started without having to embed one of the MFPs. Uh, now, if this is something that your organization does not want to leverage, no problem. There will be other options that we will go over in the future. But for now, let's go ahead, scan the QR code and get started. So in this case, I will be using an iPhone to scan that QR code. This will take us to the Hive startup page. We'll go ahead, hit start setup. We will copy that code, we'll need it here in a bit. And then we'll want to click on the Apple Store to be able to download that app. So we'll click download and wait for the app to finish setting up. And then we will click open. From here, we'll go into enter linking code and we'll paste that linking code that we copied from that site. Once the link is complete, we'll want to hit continue and we'll want to allow notifications as well. Once that's set up, we'll also want to set up the paper cut printer for the phone. To do that, we'll click on the top right hand side and we'll want to download the profile. 
Now this will give us instructions, but essentially what we'll want to do is click download and it will download the profile for us. We'll want to allow, and then we will want to switch over to the settings. Notice that there's a profile downloaded option. We'll want to click on it. And this will take us to the Papercut printer setup profile. We'll want to click install, type in our code, and then it will ask us if we want to install, click install. Once that's done, notice that Papercut printer setup is under configuration profiles. Then we'll want to switch back to the Papercut app. We'll close that out and we are done setting up our phone. Notice that the mobile tab is now complete. So now we're going to want to go back to the Hive interface and we're want to, going to want to make sure that the Apple users are able to print. So we'll want to navigate to the mobile and tablet printing tab. We'll go ahead and click there and notice that the iOS is not a green check mark. So we're going to want to set up the cloud node for that. So we're going to turn on the cloud node and we're going to want to hit enable. And then we'll want to go back to that mobile and tablet printing tab. And we'll want to go ahead, scroll down and click the ensure all super nodes have been checked. And then we'll be good to go for the iOS users. From there, we'll want to go ahead and actually print a test job. So here I'm going to go ahead and actually print two jobs. And I'm going to want to select that paper cut printer. Okay. That is the one that gets set up when we actually install the hive client. So I'm going to go ahead and send a print job. And then we see it shows up here. So we know that the client is actually sending out the print job. We'll want to go ahead and print one more. That way we can show you what it's going to look like on the app when we print the job and when we cancel it. So we'll send one more print job. From there, we're back on the phone and we notice that uh, we got a print job. We're gonna go ahead and delete the first one and we'll go ahead and print the second one. So we'll select the print job and then we'll click print document. And then I'm just going to use this fake queue to print the job. And we're all done. We've actually sent a job to print. So now we can go back to the web portal and we'll hit close and get a confetti celebration that we are done setting up the initial settings for Hive. We'll go ahead and refresh this job log and we should see one job canceled and one job printed. And with that, we are going to go ahead and conclude this first episode of the Hive Setup Series. We thank you so much for tuning in and encourage you to do so for our next episode where we will be in embedding another device and setting up more features. As always, if you have any questions or comments concerned about Papercut or any other ACDI offered products, feel free to reach out to your representative. As always, thank you once more and we look forward to working with you soon.